For years and years before 1978, when tubal disease was found, we had to rely on tubal surgery to fix the tubes. It was the only way women could get pregnant. With the advent of IVF, that has changed completely. Tubal surgery is rarely done anymore because IVF has better success rates. Nevertheless, there are times we go in to fix those tubes. Sometimes the tubes are so damaged, they look like a sausage hanging off that uterus. It's really noxious for a pregnancy to develop and pregnancies don't develop. Those are times we go in, usually using those little holes, that laparoscopy, and we take that ugly tube out, leaving one good tube behind or maybe fixing the other tube. Sometimes we have to remove both tubes just because they're so diseased. Sometimes the tubes are just mildly damaged and we cut the scar tissue around the tube and open up the tubal ends and that again is almost always done with laparoscopy. Laparotomy is really reserved for tubal surgery when there's severe endometriosis and even then most of the time we send you to a very high-tech specialist for endometriosis if we feel it's bad enough. It is so rare to have an open surgery for tubal disease in today's environment with IVF being so prevalent and so successful. Again, laparoscopy can be used for diagnosis of tubal disease when we don't know what's going on.